In this video, we'll explore a set of chords that can deepen the expression of the music. Modal interchange chords are the beautiful, heartbreaking, curiosity-inducing chords that tear a listener's heart and captivate their interest. Modal interchange chords are the spice of a song. They're unique sounding chords that help create the nuance of emotion and expression. Modal interchange chords are chords that are borrowed from parallel keys, that is, modes with the same tonic. They're used to create a poignant musical gesture, one that can't be made just by diatonic chords alone. These modal interchange chords have more impact if they're used sparingly. Using too many could obscure the original key. In other words, if they're the spice of a song, too many might make things too hot. All modal interchange chords are non-diatonic to your original key. They're not part of the key signature of the music. And as a result, they'll be spelled with accidentals. Let's focus on modal interchange when we're in a major key. We'll start with a progression of diatonic chords and other related chords like secondary dominance. The letters below the staff indicate the function of each chord. Here's that same progression, now with the melody. We'll now adapt this progression by adding some modal interchange chords. One place to put a modal interchange chord could be the one major seven. One major seven is a tonic chord function, so it feels stable, like home. In major keys, a subdominant chord could feel like an alternate place of rest, like another home. Or the subdominant chord could be the chord right before the dominant. Modal interchange chords can be added or substituted in any of these places. Modal interchange chords are borrowed from parallel modes, modes that share the same do. This means that if you're in the key of C major, You'll be borrowing from C Aeolian or C Dorian or other modes with C as Do. Notice how the major and minor keys share the same roots for 1, 4, and 5. Let's take a moment to briefly review the harmonic function of chords from minor keys. Be sure to refer to the video on composite miter. Now in minor keys, we have tonic chords, subdominant minor chords, and dominant functioning chords. The most typical tonic minor sounds are one minor and flat three major. There's many variations on these sounds. The common subdominant minor, or SDM chords, are two minor seven flat five, four minor seven, flat six major seven, and flat seven seven. Now let's go back to the chord progression so we can make some changes. First, Let's replace F major 7 with F minor 7. SDM chords can replace SD functioning chords. Next, we can insert a minor key tonic chord after G7 sus. We'll delay the actual 1 major 7 arrival until the next bar. 
and have it sit with 6 minor 7, which is another tonic chord. Finally, in place of F major 7 and bar 7, we'll use the minor key walk-up of flat 6 major 7, flat 7, 7, which should be a familiar sound. And see, these chords are A flat major 7 and B flat 7. This creates sort of a triumphant feeling, don't you think? If we put all these chords into the progression, here's what it sounds like. And here is the progression with the melody adapted for the non-diatonic modal interchange chords. Modal interchange chords can add color, nuance, depth, emotion, spice, and so many more things by expanding our harmonic palette. These chords can turn a simple chord progression into a more expressive musical statement.